Well, high praise indeed. Uh, I don't think we've ever been called the premier before by the, the boss of Cisco. So, um, Orasma, uh, a pretty incredible piece of technology. Uh, one of the really exciting things for, for us is it's British. You know, it's, it's all built here. Uh, it, it comes out of incredible work within research groups within Cambridge University. Uh, and, of course, the amazing work that Autonomy did for 20 years to build the world's greatest image recognition. And we talk about ARM's incredible success with a, a 12 billion market cap. Of course, Autonomy's was 11 billion just, uh, just a year ago. So there are some really amazing pieces of innovation that, that are coming out of the UK. So quick show of hands. Who here has heard of Erasmus? Ah, it's getting better. OK, well, you, you'll have all have seen it and understood it in a few minutes. So the idea is pretty simple. Uh, I have a piece of technology that runs on my mobile phone, which, uh, unfortunately, if the, the Samsung sponsors are in the room, they're not going to be very happy because it's an Apple phone. Um, but it does also work on Android. Uh, and now what I can do is plug it in to the screen. And we should be able to switch up onto the screen over there. Perfect. OK, so what you're seeing is exactly what I'm seeing on my screen. And what I've got here is a, a famous Scottish person, the brilliant James uh, MacDonald Turner from our office, who's holding a poster of another famous Scottish person, the brilliant poet Robbie Burns. Uh, so I point my phone at the, the poet Robbie Burns. Now, what's amazing about this is this is all image recognition. There's no marker. There's no QR code. There's nothing on the image itself. Now summer blinks on flowery braes, and <laughs> o'er the crystal streamlet plays. Thank you. Come. And also it tracks it. So as James moves the image around, it will follow it, and no matter kind of what angle you, you put the image at. In fact, a lot of this is down to the incredible processing power of the GPUs that you were talking about before. The way that we're able to do calculations on these devices is phenomenal. Uh, the first time we demoed this 18 months ago, we had a sort of array of computers in the background doing all the processing. Uh, and a lot of it was kind of improved by computers. But right now, we can do everything that you see on the device itself. The applications are everywhere. So you've got art and museums. Uh, I showed this to, to David Cameron, and, and he was really excited. I think the thing that got him most excited was the idea that you can go to an art exhibition and no longer have to wear those silly headsets uh, that tell you what you're looking at when you type in a code. You can just point at the piece of art and, and see more. But also, magazines and newspapers are getting really excited. So here I have today's FT. And uh, see what we've happened. got more British success, which is the cyclists. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, it kind of feels unreal at the minute, um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. I just had to go for it, and um, I did, and I put everything behind it, and unfortunately... So, it it's really easy to do, and we have lots of newspapers that are doing this already. Um, everything from Day Telegraph in the Netherlands through to The Sun in the UK, uh, who are able to update content throughout the day on their newspapers. So even if they're printed at you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, if an update comes out at, at 10 o'clock or, or midday, they can actually update the video that's on top of their magazines. So it's a way to bring the medium kind of into the modern age. The other side to this is there's some really interesting applications in the world of education. I will show the classroom side of it in a minute. But also it's things like this. So you get these wireless routers. Um, it's not a Cisco one. It's, a, it's an HP one, actually, because um, we're being corporate. Uh, <laughs> But if you pointed it, rather than getting a boring old video for how to install it. This is the Erasma guide to installing your HP ProCurve switch. Insert the yellow Cat5 cable into the port on the left-hand side until the tab on the plug clicks into place. Connect the purple Cat5 cable from your PC. So you get the idea. And we've got people who've done this already with things like engine bays and old cars. So there's a guy in the States who, who tags up the inside of old Mustangs and Camaros and, and puts little instructions as to how to change the oil or how to put in more washer fluid. It's really, really cool um, what users are doing with it. The other side is films. So um, we work with lots of cinema companies. And there was a great announcement earlier about Warner Brothers investing uh, in the UK with, with uh, some of the, the sort of 3D and 2D creative work that we have over here. Well, we have an in-house team of 25 3D modelers who are able to recreate scenes from films. So here, James is now going to climb in the fireplace, if you don't mind, and reenact a scene from Jurassic Park. So I point at the poster, and there's a 3D dinosaur. <laughs> 
what I can also do is take a little photograph of that and share it on Facebook and, or Twitter. So there's some really amazing social applications for this technology as well. Uh, the other thing is, it's so easy for brands. So we have many great British brands, such as Jaguar Outside or, or Dunhill or you know, less great British brands like The Sun. Uh, and everyone, really, uh, in the UK is using this in some way, shape, or form to, to create something special. There's now 7,000 partners using it. The other side is education. So we have a teacher uh, who likes to tag up his classroom, and he sent us this little video of some of the kids playing, playing with Orasma. So I'm going to show it See to you. See what happens. Keep going. Now move it either side, see what happens. Move away from it and come back to it. Oh, it's got, that is so cool. That's a normal piece of And then, have you got it again? Oh my god! How did you do that? So it's very nice. And actually, we're seeing some amazing applications in the classroom. So we've got a, a teacher in Australia who, with her homework assignments, puts little tags on the pages. So when you, you scan a page, if you get stuck, you'll get more instructions from her on, on how to complete the question, um, through to you know, simple things like interactive classrooms, as you've just seen. So the thing I'm going to show you now is how easy it is to create that sort of experience. So there's a tiny bit of audience participation. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to make a little video of you all. So I'm going to start from here and try and create a sort of Mexican wave. Uh, so are you ready? So go like this when I say go. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Okay. Now what I can do is go into Erasmus. I can take a photograph of something. So I'm going to take a photo of the, the Great Britain logo here. And I'm going to go into my iPhone. Uh, into the camera roll and choose that video there. So one of the things that we wanted to do was make it so that any partner can do this. Uh, like I said, we have 7,000. 20% of those are, are within the education field. Uh, and you know, some of the newspapers and magazines have literally tens of thousands of pieces of content that they upload. Uh, this is the one part of the demo which is rather dependent on the internet, so it might take a few seconds to do it. Um, in fact, that's a little bit too long. Mm. I think everyone is trying to watch the sport. OK, let's try that one more time. So I take a photograph like so. Uh, there we go. OK, so I take a photograph, I go in, and I place it as I like. The other thing that we're finding is because of the, the processing power on the devices and because of our relationship with people like, like Arm, um, what we're able to do with things like the 3D is you know, increasing uh, really quite phenomenally. Uh, a year ago, we could have 3D models which were 600 triangles. Now, we can have 3D models that are 110,000 triangles. Next year, we'll be able to get even higher. And we've already started working with people like Marvel and Steven Spielberg, taking 3D models from films and putting them in the world around you. So now. That's worked, and I can scan that area there, and there you all are. That's actually the wrong video. That was the video from the test earlier, but there you go. <laughs> nice work, James. Cool. So, so this is the future. Uh, we love it. We get very excited by it. But what's great is our partners are kind of agreeing with it. So. What we're saying with Erasmus is it's completely free. Uh, if you want to create content, or you're a teacher, or you're an advertiser, or you're a publisher or a distributor, you can get involved with the platform. You can make it your own. You can personalize it as you like. And just help, help be part of the revolution to change the way that people get information on their mobile phones in the real world. Thank you so much. <laughs>